Rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> on the river, on the river. We'll be down to, to zero. <laughs> Up and down the fingers. And into the palm. And the pants of the pinky. And the thumb. And the wrist. And across the knuckle. And let's just leave the ball in the palms and interlace the fingers and press. And release. And squeeze. And release and squeeze. Let's toss it up in the air. Three, two, one. Pull on the floor. Let's just have the feet feel. And step in the ball right in the middle of the foot and press down three times. Up to the knuckles, once on each. Roll across the knuckles. Bring the ball to the top of the heel, pivot on the toes, and roll across the top of the heel. Press down just below the first metatarsal at the side of the top of the heel, and in the middle of the fifth metatarsal. Roll down the bones. And scribble. Three, two, one, release. Reassess. Repeat on the other side. Good morning, Jockey. Three times in the middle. Up to the left. Rolling across. Top of the heel. And pressing in the three spots. And rolling down the boat. And scribble. Three, two, one, release, get the ball out of the way, reassess, and shake the tree. Three, two, one and center, twisting it the way, swinging it out. And center, let's do a little primordial Tai Chi. And facing in. Coming up and out, back in, 
and down. Right hand up, right at third eye level, look at it. Bring it back down. Left hand up to the left and down. Chi ball up the spine and out and down. Back in, up to the heart, over to the right. Carry it to the left. Back right. Back to center with the right hand down, left hand up in a chi ball. Bring the right hand up as the left hand comes down on the inside. And then the right hand comes down and the left hand goes up. Pivot on the left heel, throw that pitch, turn a quarter. Left hand comes out and gathers chi, right hand. Left hand. Pivot on the heel, throw the pitch. Right hand is down, left hand is up. Right hand comes up on the outside, left hand goes down on the inside. And then the right hand comes down, the left hand comes up. Pivot, throw the pitch. Got a chi with the left, the right, the left. Both hands out, scoop and gather. Come on up with the left hand inside the right, up to the crown. Down to the lower dantian. Take two breaths. And come around and take some forward steps. And uh, elbow to the opposite knee. And slap the opposite heel. And then slap it behind. And a cross step with the twist and a punch. And walk, march, or jog. So today we're going to do some uh, balance, the balance routine. No squats involved in that if you want to do squats. I think I'm going to hop myself, but uh, do whatever you want to do to get the heart rate going, including uh, what you're doing now. That's fine. Be safe. You need yoga in the after class. Ready? Five, four, three, two. Two, three. And oh, 
Oh, I'm tuning. And 30. Two breaths. Interlace the fingers, raise the hands up. Up on the toes. And back down if you can, bend back. Come forward, drop one arm, bend in that direction. Go the other way. Back to the top, interlace the fingers and drop the hands to the chest, pushing out there. Come on down, one hand up, one hand down. If you need to, use a cloth or a strap or a belt or a band. But um, just pull it in opposite directions. And then reverse it. And come on out and uh, shrug. And bring your fingertips to your shoulders and roll the elbows forward in a circle. And then backwards. And extend the arms and tap the shoulders. And then a big bear hug. And the other arm on top. One more time each way. Grab your elbows, rock to eyes, side to side. And then extend your arm, fingers up, pull back. Fingers down. up and wiggle the fingers and make a fist. Fingers up. Fingers down. And wiggle and make a fist. Come on down and rotate the neck. Go the other way. Nod. And go ear to shoulder. Uh, 
tuck in your chin, look to one side, throughout the chin to the collarbone. And then look up. Back to the center, still tuck, look the other way. Drop the chin. And look up. Back to center, tuck it in and pack like a pigeon. And go into a side lunge. And go the other way. And yeah, come up and grab a stick. We'll put the stick in front of one leg, put it against the collarbone at the top, slide down, lift the sole, and wiggle it if you can, back and forth. And then press the sole of that foot against the stick. And then repeat the other way. Starting with the hamstring. And then the sole of the foot. And come on up. And we're doing the EFI routine today, starting, how do we start that? We'll start that um, behind the back with some twists. And we'll go up overhead. And then what I should have started with is parallel to the spine and behind you. And just go up and down. And then switch the position on the hands. And then bring it around front, palms facing in. We'll do 10 bicep curls. And then leave it below the waist, switch the position of the palms, hinge at the waist, come on down as low as you can. You bend your knees slightly and come on back up. We'll do 10 of those and deadlifts.
and then go back down and stay there and bring the elbows past the rib cage. Keep it at the shoulders, come on up and lift overhead. And then below the waist again, bring the elbows up to shoulder height. Keep it at the shoulders and push out. And then bring it around back, palms facing away, and lift behind you. And then switch the position of the palms and do another 10. Bring your stick to the side, hand at the top or near the top and swing behind. And then the other side. And then bring it to the middle. Hold on with two hands, one hand or a finger or two, step back. We're going to come up on our toes and stay there for a count of 15. Three, two, one, and then back on our heels. And then back down. All right, um, you might want to hold on to the stick for some of these balance exercises or be next to a wall or behind a chair. It's always good having uh, your hands uh, near the top or on the top, however it feels safest to you. Particularly um, for this first exercise where we're going to close our eyes and do it with your feet um, spread apart in a normal fashion to start and just see how that feels. And if uh, you are not um, struggling to maintain your balance, bring them a little closer or do a stagger step. With your eyes closed. And again, you might want to be holding on to the stick lightly or hands on the back of the chair. And ultimately, if you can put one heel in front of the other toe, close your eyes and try to balance. But again, only go as far as feels safe for you. And 
you need to hold on to the back of that chair or on the counter or onto the stick. And we'll do it another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Excellent. Now, standing, bring your thumb up with one hand, the other hand's by your side, bend your elbow. And follow that thumb as you go to your right with your eyes, but keep your head straight. Just follow it with your eyes as far as you can. And then come back and go to your left. Don't move your head, just your eyeballs. And come back to center. Go down with the thumb. And back up. And overhead. And back down. Good. Now we're going to um, walk on our toes forward. And you can either walk backwards or turn around. And again, if you need to, carry a stick or be next to the wall. And then walk on your heels forward. And back, and we'll turn. And then back on the fifth metatarsal, if you can. And back. And on the first. And back. Walk like a duck. And back. And like a pigeon. And back. And uh, let's leave it at that. Let's do some heel to toe. Again, um, focus on something in front of you. And if you can't do a full heel to toe, just bring your feet a little bit closer than normal. Go backwards or turn around. Good. And stand uh, near or a wall or the chair again or hold on to the stick. We're going to balance on one leg for the count of 30. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then the other leg. And again, hold on if you have to. 30, 29, 28, 
47, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Very good. Remember, too, when you're brushing your teeth, you might want to hold on to the counter with one hand, pick up one foot, and brush your teeth that way. And uh, I don't know if you have to use the other hand. You can use the same hand. Yeah, pick up the other foot. Um, we're doing 488. Four in through the nose, immediately eight out, and then hold for eight, and we'll do five rounds. And uh, those palms together. On that chi ball. And the center. The best. We'll open our hearts. Pause and exhale, send it out. And center. Your best. Bring down chief from above. And the average from below. Thank you, Tom. Okay, Nina. Have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you Monday. Nope. Okay. No okay. Bill, no Nina. Uh-oh. I care. Can still wish you well. All right. <laughs> Take care. Let's see you. Have a good trip. Thanks. Um, but don't go yet. Waiting for the quote. Yes. It is. Where are my timers? Oh, there it is.
it is. You can never get enough of what you don't need to make you happy. Huh? <laughs> that was Eric Hoffer. Uh, Eric Hoffer, my favorite yeah. uh, rebel, I know. Okay, yeah. All that's right. good. Thank you for that. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Uh, inside timer. I'm going to do five. No, I'm not. I'm doing the yin yoga. Jonathan. There we go. And you turn that music on. You turn this volume up a little. Change the cameras. And start on the floor in nine seconds. Cat position.
Stuart de Nilo. Please to Please do Thanks a lot, Tom. You're welcome, Jonathan. Have a great day.